In this video, I want to provide another example of how the frequentist and Bayesian views on probability differ, and how in this particular case, the frequentist view actually runs into a few problems. So the example I'm going to be talking about here is, what is the probability of England winning uh, a football game against France in the World Cup? So firstly, if we think about the frequentist view, so remember what probability is to a frequentist. It is the relative frequency of that particular event occurring after an infinite number of samples from the population. So firstly, we need to ask ourselves, what exactly is the population here? Well, if we were to think about a population in this example, what we would actually have to think about is a potential sort of hypothetical example of all the World Cup games that could be played between England and France. And forget for a moment that this is completely nonsensical, but what we could imagine is that we've got all these possible games, whatever that particular means, and we have them together in some sort of imaginary population. So we have this population of all the games which England could ever play against France, and then what we would need to do is we would then need to draw from this imaginary population. We need to take samples from this imaginary population. So let's just go over those two steps again. Firstly, we need to imagine um, a population of England versus France games. Then what we need to do further after that is we then to need to imagine drawing for imagine sampling from this imaginary population. So that's even one step even further removed, right? And then only then what we would then need to do is count up what is the relative um, frequency of England victories. Yeah, so the relative frequency of England wins. And that would be the frequentist interpretation of what is the probability of England beating France in a World Cup. And obviously I've, I've sort of laboured the point here, but I hope you can see that there is no such thing as a population of England versus France games. So we fall down at this step, and then furthermore, when we imagine sampling from that population a sort of infinite number of times, we also fall down at that step because we're sampling from an imaginary population. This is a one-time event, this particular event, with the particular initial conditions which we have, you know, the particular players, the environment, etc. So the frequentist view of probability falls down completely in this circumstance. Um, because we cannot imagine what's the relative frequency of the events occurring in a sort of infinite series of draws. Then if we think about the Bayesian view of probability, for a Bayesian, probability doesn't represent a relative frequency. Here, a probability actually is sort of representing what we call uncertainty. So here, because we're just talking about an uncertainty, it's basically a measure between 0 and 1, as to how certain we are that England will win that game. When it's stated like this, it does sound like it probably will be a little bit more subjective than the frequentist view. But note that the frequentist view just doesn't work in this particular case. That said, it doesn't necessarily mean, um, it doesn't have to be um, subjective, subjective in this particular case, but it probably is gonna be slightly more subjective. Um, but the one thing that certainly isn't subjective about the Bayesian view of probability is how we update probability. And we update probability in the only potentially, or in the only possible rather, rational way, which is via use of Bayes' rule. So that is certainly not a subjective view of probability because that is the only rational way of updating probability in light of new information. So in summary, I hope you can see here that because we've abandoned this frequentist view of the probability representing a long-run relative frequency of an event occurring, and we've moved over to the Bayesian view, uh, view rather, where the probability represents uncertainty, we've actually gained a lot because now we're able to actually continue on using probability and to use it to uh, make inferences about what's going on. Furthermore, we know how to update our view as to what's going on and we'll update that using Bayes' rule.